8th. I was coming around the gate. It's a shortcut. I saw a man and a woman. They were having sex on the ground. Do you see those individuals here today? There and there. I'll let the record reflect. Mr. Perez pointed at the defendant, Ellis Griffin, and the alleged victim, Janie Spears. And were you able to see if both parties were awake and conscious? Yes, awake. She might remember me. I caught her eye was less than 15 feet away. And was there anything that made you think the woman might be in trouble? No. She was really into it, moaning. And she says, keep going. Halloween weekend, people do crazy things, having sex in the park. Five years ago, you were arrested for criminal sale of a controlled substance, a felony. Is that correct? Objection. Relevance. Goes to credibility. Overruled. Witness will answer. Yes, I was arrested. That was your third offense. Yet you were able to avoid jail time by agreeing to become a confidential informant? Yeah, so I'm not one anymore. Who was your control officer? Dennis Marino. A detective at the 5-5. That's right. But like I said, I'm not a CI anymore. I haven't talked to Marino in years. Sure. When you were a CI, did you meet any other detectives at the 5-5? A few. Did you ever meet Patrick Griffin? Father of the defendant, a former officer at the 5 5. Objection. Again, goes to credibility. I'll allow. Let me ask you again, Mr. Bettis, and I will remind you you are under oath. Did you ever meet Patrick Griffin? No. But Griffin and Marino worked together in the 5 5. Did you know that? Asked and answered, Your Honor. I'll allow. Witness will answer. Like I said, I never met the man. Sergeant Griffin didn't approach you 